Okay, welcome everyone to today's webinar. Uh, a couple things I want you to understand is this is actually the first video I want you to watch, as well as the last video uh, to review it again to kind of see the before, then the five uh, series of videos that I did, uh, follow them one by one, and then look at your charts, compare your charts with what I was saying during that time. So bring up your charts, see what the day was on the, the webinar I did, and then uh, see what my training plan was. Then after that, I want you to actually see the last video and say, okay, well, these were the trades that he talked about. And, and I want you to see not a shoulda, woulda, coulda type of train situation. It's more of what I actually did and what happened and what actually uh, you could see exactly my thought process and how I pursue these markets uh, today. So uh, I actually had a student this week, too, that did follow some of the trades that I did. Uh, he did over a thousand points um, or pips as well as these trades you know these trades that we did were over a thousand pretty much almost 1500 probably by Friday uh, will be over quite a bit actually um, so just to understand these are educational purposes um, like I said there's a difference between education and uh, you know taking responsibility as trades so if you did take these trades good job and uh, hopefully you're pretty excited about all the the pips that you gained okay so this is actually a another account I'm not going to talk about who it's whose it is um, but there's a difference between live and demo demo has a green icon live has the actual gold icon and then uh, a couple other things you know um, just realize that these trades are real okay and like I said we're we're uh, you know so there's different account sizes of course that we uh, people deal with some people have smaller accounts so they're able to trade with bigger lot sizes that's why we refer it to points or pips uh, but people that actually um, you know, have smaller account sizes they can take advantage of similar re uh, results in a pips standpoint or percentage standpoint okay so look at your charts uh, today's date is uh, the 11th month November 10th 2011 uh, it's 1 30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for me with this uh, last video or the first video I want you to watch. Uh, let's look at the charts right now. This is the Euro dollar. Uh, the Euro dollar has pushed downwards. Uh, we're continuing the downward swing. We're hitting the bottom of this uh, downward channel. Uh, the four hour standpoint, we talked about several things. I want to review some of the trades that we took and what we talked about. So the trades that we took some profits off of, the sexual trend line was a little bit higher like this. Uh, there was an entry point right here. Uh, exit point right here at 273 points and then there's another trade opportunity these are some uh, positions that are already in but I'm going to talk about the other one that was uh, already took profits which was right here the one hour standpoint where it was kind of ranging we talked about it taking a head and shoulder pattern here's your entry point you could have took profits somewhere around this area at 180 points so 270 uh, let's actually bring out the calculator to kind of help you understand that uh, I can't remember what the last point was. So 270 and uh, 180. Okay, depending on when you actually closed out. Okay, so it really depends on some other people. Um, and then the Swiss franc uh, day chart. Uh, we did talk about it swinging upwards, uh, lower highs, higher highs, and we're still continuing upwards. Um, the four hour standpoint, we talked about multiple positions actually. We talked about this position right here, uh, entering at this candle, uh, exiting e either in this area, 150 points, which was this trend line that was established. So 150 points, that's one another thing I'm going to add, roughly. And then uh, also there was another trading opportunity with the break of this trend line. Uh, you would actually be up if you kept on holding on to this trade, uh, depending where you're at. It's at 180 points. And there was other reasons we talked about adding positions uh, in the one hour standpoint. Okay, we talked about this smaller trend line right here, as well as a dip and engulfing pattern because we had a break of resistance, finding an engulfing pattern. So you could have gotten that uh, candlestick right there and take some profits either at the previous high, things of that nature. So 50 points there, and also the break of this uh, trend line here on the one hour standpoint just a smaller trend line here and you could have used Majestic on these trades by the way you could have took the breakout or the retest so let's take this candlestick 
So there's another 80 points, so 130 points. Okay, and then uh, looking at, uh, and right now we're currently on the upper swing still. The pound dollar, we talked about actual uh, a small um, exit point, if you got out or not. Um, but we did also talk about uh, reasons to get in to follow the euro dollar. So we actually came back down to the support resistance level here at 1.5901. Uh, looking at the four hour standpoint, we talked about several opportunities, the break of this trend line, the retest to push back down to this support level so you would actually break even on that one. And there's actually a smaller trend line here. So there's several points that you could have took. You could take the retest, engulfing pattern, that's 70 points right there. Uh, looking for the break of this low, which it hasn't happened. So I'm looking to take it from here down to this area, which actually hasn't happened. So we won't consider that. But the trading opportunity that I actually mentioned on Twitter, uh, if you followed me on Twitter on this trade, we talked about a beautiful majestic trade on this right here, entry point right here, stop loss above here, just cha-ching right there. So we actually hit a profit of 190 points, which I'll add here. Okay, add into the calculator. And let's see, the USDN, I talked about it not being very serious. I really didn't wasn't interested in this pair at all. We talked about the day chart, daily trend. There was a small sell position that you could have took advantage of. Four-hour standpoint, just consolidation, a little bit of a punch down. One hour, not too exciting, as you can see. Uh, the US CAD, we talked about everybody's opinion on the US CAD. A beautiful trend line break on the day chart. Uh, breaking upwards actually the only trading opportunity I talked about was this uh, engulfing pattern right here so if you took that trade right here bouncing off this uh, support resistance here at 1.0077 if you did take that trade that was the trading opportunity I talked about this engulfing pattern and you would have gained roughly I talked about trading back to the previous high which is 100 points So with closed profits, you would have been up 1,200 points. With open positions right now, you'd be at uh, roughly about 800 to 1,000. So we actually did pretty much 2,200 pips this week. Okay. So like I said, what I want you to do now is look at the videos, see your charts, so you know that um, you could see step by step exactly the the opportunities I mentioned about I'm entering here if it does this if it does this I'm gonna enter here here's what I'm gonna look for here's my target point these are the things I'm gonna do and so roughly um, you know I guess we did better than we expected which is uh, 2200 points or so so if you took advantage of it you know good job and yeah follow us on Twitter uh, Facebook and also YouTube uh, I'm gonna post these videos up so those people that watch these videos can see that these are real live trades. Um, we're talking about some other things. Feel free to email us. We have, you know, want to hear your feedback. We're looking about um, uh, making a train room and things of that nature. But we're also talking about um, some different alternatives as, as far as the uh, one on one training. But um, let us know uh, what you think and see if, you know, if, if it's actually a good opinion. We want to know your comment below what you think about these videos if they've actually helped you in your trades also feel free to put a review on us on uh, 4xpsarmy.com uh, we're definitely looking for those individuals that we want to really uh, you know help proceed this market in a in an educational fashion so anyways guys um, like I said hopefully you guys did really well this week because like I said there was some great opportunities I uh, hope you're involved with these trades that we talked about and uh, like I said this just shows you the real traders. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. All right. Take care.